Okay, just going to do a quick demonstration this morning on the frost scraping. Uh, I got a small black bear here. I put it out last night. It's about uh, minus 38 right now, minus 48 with the wind. So it's perfect temperature. It's nice and solid. I'm going to grab a uh, paint scraper and show you how to scrape that. As you can see, that bear was uh, pretty rough skin in the bush when uh, we shot it. So it doesn't have to be perfectly clean skin. So that's why that's what's nice about frost scraping. What you're looking for uh, for ideal temperatures is uh, minus 25. This prevents the, um, the fat from gumming up on your scraper. You can see my scraper is pretty clean, but any warmer than that, then it starts to, to gum up and you got to clean it more often. But when it's this cold, it just shaves right off. You see all the shavings, that's all fat and meat. I'm going to uh, actually tan this bear, so I'm going to scrape it up nice and clean. I don't want to leave any any meat on there or fat at all. So I like this scraper. It's, uh, I don't know if that's a 10 or a 12 inch. So it's got a nice nice handle on it, so you can put some weight into it.
Okay, so this is the bear after I'm uh, all finished scraping it up. Turned out pretty good. Some parts, like I couldn't uh, scrape in the edges there, but I can do that once it's thawed out. This is the bullet hole that was shot with a, a seven millimeter. Not much damage, that'll uh, sew up, no problem. So yeah. Frost scraping sure makes it a lot easier, that's for sure. And I got a wolf I'm gonna do too. Might as well, we haven't got too much cold weather this year, so take advantage of it when we do get it. Alright, that's it.